Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome to my brand new series. It's titled Win One, Take One. Now, I know there was a FIFA YouTuber who was doing that before, or maybe it was Football Manager, I can't remember. Um, and I don't think it's going to be the exact same sort of concept, but basically, what's going to happen is, and I, I put the rules in the description below in every episode, uh, and unless anything changes, but right, right now, it's going to be I win one game. I start off with this team right here, the Gateshead Thunder, whatever. I've actually changed the name and um, the uniform, uh, sorry, the their jerseys and that so this is what the thunder was whatever I've taken their default side and we've got our own jerseys and all that sort of stuff so you can see the what like a a one star if that rated side I'm going to go through I'm going to play all the teams in NRL maybe Super League whatever we feel like doing and if we win the game we get three of their players if we win the game by 20 points and sorry if we score 20 points then we get an extra player and then each try after that is an extra player that we get and we're using a like a number generator uh, and we're going to pick 1 to 17 and out of those numbers we pick say we um say we, we get dragons we, we get 1 6 7 that means we get Josh Dugan we get Benji Marshall and we get Gareth Woodup um but this is going to be on the 2013 rosters and also I have like fiddle fiddled around with some of the rosters so they're not the like default rosters or whatever cuz um I just stuffed around with them all throughout the time of playing Rugby League Live 2, but we haven't really got any updated ones, so, um, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little bit of an introduction. There's going to be one game coming up, um, afterwards, and so just an example of what this, um, what this series is going to be, and then I'm going to try and do two, two games per episode, so we play the game, we'll go through, if we get play. Oh, oh, sorry, also, I should mention, if we lose, we lose, uh, two players. So, so, um, that way, is if I lose a game, because which you know, there's a good possibility we're going to lose a game. The side's not awesome. Uh, I've already played a few of the games, that's why I'm not going to go in and show you the whole side. Um, yeah, the side isn't great, so you know, there is a great possibility of losing a game, and I don't want to have to like play one game and then we immediately lose all those players, and we'll just end up just repeating a cycle of never getting any good players, never getting anywhere. Um, so this is going to end this part of the video, this portion. Um, coming up next is going to be what the actual video is going to be like, and we're going to go through our very first game. So I'll see you then, guys. Play. All right, now moving on to the main part of the video. Now you saw before, I just did the explanation of what's actually happened in the video. As you can see here, we're taking on the Eels, and that's because we're going from last to first from the 2013 season, and the Wooden Spooners from 2013 were the Parramatta Eels, and they do have a fair few amount of players who are worth getting. I have to, obviously, Jared Hayne is a big one. Chris Sando's pretty good in this game. Ben Roberts is good in this game. Uh, who else? Looking at their team lineup up here. Uh, Reddy Matua might be worth getting. Tim Mena, Moi Moi. Uh, Moi Moi would actually be fantastic, I think. Um, and depending on... Uh, if, if we win the game, we get three plays. If we win it by... like If we score 20 points, we get an extra player. So, we we'll obviously be going for the extra player, but at this stage, we just have such a poor side that it's going to be quite hard for us to score lots of points, so we sort of just got to try and um, grind out the victories here. So you saw here, we had the early run of play, but then Tanchinoa ends up picking up an intercept, and he's going to race away. We don't have anybody who can even, you know, run the length of the field if, if we got an intercept without getting caught, let alone going on and catching uh, one of the Eels players. They're just too strong, and that's what we get for um, just trying to force our hand a little bit too much. So we've got Chrissy Sando here, who just slot home the conversion. Simple as, and 6 0 behind very early on. I think that was the first set. Um, but we did show signs of, you know, some pretty good attack there. Just the last pass wasn't on. Jared Hayne with a nice run there. We did eventually bring him down. Ran him a two here, just going to force a pass there. And there's a forward pass to Joseph Paul, I believe it was. So some great play here, and probably one of our faster ones, Ackerley. Um, he seems a little bit faster than our other winger. And also, don't like destroy me on the names because I really don't know it, like any of these names but we've got Condren here just got to draw and pass which he does and Payne uh, he probably could have went himself there went up throwing a pass and luckily enough didn't go forward oh, it's the battle whether it did go forward it probably did go forward but we will see uh, a little bit of a replay here we had number 10 here which was um, the guy who ends up passing it and then number 12 I think it was who ended up scoring now our current, I think the winger is the goal kicker at this stage um, and goal kicking is something that I wouldn't mind Picking up a new player, hopefully who is a goal kicker, which would be like really good for us. Um, but yeah, speaking of goal kicking, hopefully we'll be doing that quite soon if, if we score a try. Um, that was a great play there, just passing it bulldog style. Um, it's quite funny uh, bulldog style when we're playing with like the lowest, one of the lowest sides in England. Um, but anyways, 
attacking very, very well. We're just going to throw a cut-out pass here. And what a pass it was. Thackeray, or however you pronounce it, in the corner. And that's 10-0. And it is all before half-time. So, at this stage, I'm sort of thinking, oh, this, you know, we're going quite good. We're attacking pretty well. We're not using too much pace, which is quite good. Just hitting holes. And as you can see here, weird angle, only 10 metres out. And that's just due to the fact that we haven't really got the best goal kicker for distance and that sort of stuff. So, I thought it'd be easier just to sort of try and um, get one on target. We see Fu Fu Moime just destroying our player there. Uh, pretty good hit. And just on the stroke of half time, the last thing we did, we tried to go for a field goal. Didn't really work out. We just didn't have the legs on it. And because we didn't have the legs on it, I tried, had to force it to be right on the sp right on the money with it. But then Akali, who's had a pretty good game for us, he ends up going and scoring an intercept. I do have to say, though, he'd probably be the one who dropped out of the side if we got another winger. So I thought I'd just mention that. But Akali, intercept, great stuff there. And I think this camera angle works really well with intercepts. I noticed after using the other camera angle and seeing it uh, going over some of my online videos that I've been posting uh, recently, um, it's not very effective when you get intercepts in those camera angles. But we're about to blow a chance right here. We really should, probably should have scored there. Uh, didn't work out, but uh, nonetheless, we did. You know, we did okay. Um, but it's right at the end of the game. We did end up dropping the ball, but I think we had enough of a lead that didn't really concern me too much whether we um, conceded a try or not, which we didn't. Um, and we forced him over the sideline. I can't remember who it was, but uh, in the end, we ended up picking up an 18 to 6 win. So we didn't quite get that extra player that we're going to be getting, but we are going to be taking three players off the Eels, which should come in very handy because F4 is just seen to get destroyed uh, and just get dominated a little bit too much. So we're about to pick our three players right now and we are going to get the number two, number 14 and number eight. So we'll go and have a look at who they are. So the number two was Ken Seo, which is not a bad pickup. Um, wingers were lacking in a bit of pace, so could come in quite handy. Uh, ben Roberts was number 14, who should be a very good player on this. I know he's a phenomenal player on this game, so really, really nice pickup. Um, Super happy about that one. And the last one was Fu Fu Moimo, who we saw had a impre very impressive hit um, earlier. And I'm very happy with uh, getting Fu Fu Moimo. And I think we've actually bagged quite a few um, good players. At least it's a good start, um, I'd have to say. There's something we can work with. We got we got a half, which is important. We got a back, and we got a forward. So we got one of everything. And because the team is, you know, fairly poor, um, pretty much any player from the NRL is an upgrade. But that's where we're going to leave the video. You can sort of see a little bit of the side here. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to line up, but um, yeah, this, this is how the video is ending. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the concept. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos, my Titans videos, and that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, subscribe, like the video. Uh, if we can hit 10 likes, that'd be awesome as well. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter, Mr. Luke on YT, and I'll see you for the next video, guys. Bye.